So Azure policies are used to enforce organizational standards to assess compliance at scale, and policies do not restrict access, they only observe for compliance. So here on the right-hand side in the Azure policy uh, portal, uh, you're gonna see a big list of policies, and Azure has a bunch of policies built in for you right away that you can use. So if you need to meet NIST or FedRAMP or HIPAA, what you can do is just turn those on, and it's gonna check based on the categories to see if like, you're using Cosmo DB, it's gonna check for that compliance and tell you whether you're being compliant or not. And there's a bunch of components that are involved when you're making Azure policies. So you have the policy definition file, and this is just a JSON file that describes business rules to control access to resources. You have policy assignment. This is the scope of a policy that it can affect, assigned to a user, a resource group, or a management group. You have policy parameters. These are values you can pass into your policy definition so your policies are more flexible for use. And you have initiative definition definitions, and these are an initial definition is a collection of policy definitions that you can assign. So it's a group of policies to enforce some kind of compliance like PCI uh, DSS compliance. And I want you to carefully look at the screenshot on the right hand side where it says definition type, and you see policy initiatives. So the ones at the top there is talking about policy definitions. And then you have initiative definitions, which are just a group of policy definitions. All right.